Hello everybody, it's me Roscoe and welcome to another instalment of Game Day and we're back at Portman Road as Town take on Watford in the Championship. Of course, Kieran McKenna's side look to get back to winning ways after last weekend's Derby defeat. There's Harry. Hello my friend, how you doing? Uh, but yeah, um, I admit it, I'm not going to mention the Derby defeat anymore. It's a new game, five cup finals to go and yeah, Town uh, under a great position. Second at the table, Leeds, Leicester, they dropped points yesterday so Town, if they win today, they could go top of the table. So we shall see what happens. Normal stick as ever, media scran, team news, and the thoughts from the Cowie Army. And uh, yeah, I'm starving, ladies and gentlemen. I had a, a very early lunch, so I can't wait to see what Patrick's got for me. But yeah, today, could we see a narrow member or night at Portland Road? We shall wait and see. Let's get right into it. Hope you enjoy it as ever. Let's do this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now in the media suite. Say hello to Patrick. Uh, Caught up with AJ. There he is, trying to open a, a Coke bottle. Close, close, close it, close it. this saga again. No, no, we're not. Um, but he's media yeah, scran, he's in his belly, and media scran's about to go in my yeah, belly, ladies and gentlemen. So here it is. There he is in all his glory. Lasagna. And uh, garlic bread. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. I imagine you know, I've got Italian family, so uh, we shall see how it rates. If it's better than my family, it won't be. It won't be. But um, we shall see. I like. So let's get right in the belly. Food is very much in the belly. Lasagna was fine. It was fine. AJ, um, oh, yeah, welcome back. You're joining me again with a nice little cameo. Um, he's uh, running solo on the writing side. Oh, the stew is off. Um, yeah, I'm sure you do right. You've done it many times, my friend. Um, Thank you for the confidence. Though. Appreciate always, it. Always, always, my friend. And uh, yeah, what do you think of the food? It was, it was fine, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fine. It was solid. Maybe not spectacular too. But you know what? I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah. It's exactly what you maybe need when it's a little bit colder out there. A good lasagna warm yeah. yeah. Although I've got that mindset of uh, a chili. Normally it's Sunday nights. So you came in with that, didn't yeah, you? That was your big problem. You came in with the idea you wanted the chili. So. We've got lasagna. Can't complain. Uh, although I sound like I'm complaining, but not there, Sherman. The food is very much in the belly. And Team News has just dropped. There's four changes, AJ. Team Sheet in all its glory. Before we get onto the Team News. He wants to give a bit of props to Richard's Town because yeah. they've added something very unique Specifying here. that we've got interim manager Tom Cleverley, I thought it was a nice little touch. It shows that... Well, it's not a template, it's always a template. Yeah, it's but not, yeah, but it's not a copy and paste job. Yeah. We're not just going through and like whacking in names and, and not doing it a bit carelessly as we maybe seen some clubs do, not naming any names elsewhere. Um, but yeah, this looks really professional and I think that's a, a nice touch to have. Indeed. Four changes, as we said. Um, you run through them, AJ, because I think I've forgotten already. Oh boy, okay, right, <laughs> let's go from back to front. Uh, right back, we've got change, but Axel Twanzebe dropping out. Probably needed after quite a long run in the team. Harry Clark comes in, a bit more of a surprise. George Edmondson comes in, mm. and Philippe Wolfman drops to the bench. Wolfman's place on the bench means that Don Ball drops out of the squad entirely. That's gutting for me. Horrendous. Uh, I'll be having words with McKenna about that after the game. Uh, midfield, the change we all expected was to see Massimo Luongo drop out. Looked a little bit tired, a bit leggy, so seeing Jack Taylor come in made sense. And then from there, it's a bit of a switch around in the forward line. Amari Hutchinson going central as he played against Sheffield Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Looked really good in that yep. role, so he's coming into a central position. With Caden Jackson on the right, mm -hmm. hopefully yeah. looking to exploit a little bit of space behind Jamal Lewis, who likes to push high, so that there might be a few gaps there. Him and Harry Clark combining well to, to cause some problems down that side. Be interesting to see how they get on. Mm. I think we've both predicted wins, time to get back to winning ways, so if that is the case today. Uh, I'm going to give my rating, actually, didn't, didn't do that yet. Seven. Maybe six. Seven. Yeah, like that. I give it a seven, yeah. Give it a seven. Uh, but yeah. AJ's gonna do his normal stick, typey type, snappy snaps. Let's get right into it and hopefully town and get a win to go top of the championship. Let's go. Well, it's ended goalless here at Portman Road. A stalemate against Watford and at it was a peach of a game. And I'm, jo oh, peachy. I'm joined by good old peachy. <laughs> that was definitely not rehearsed before recording. Uh, but my oh, friends, no. uh, a point. You know, still in our hands. Still in our hands. Uh, just not. Frustrating, but still in our hands. Yeah, back to back games now. Frustrating. We won't talk about Saturday. I said that. We won't talk about that. No. But um, no. yeah, today, just couldn't. Like, weren't clinical enough. No, we, we had plenty of chances first half, didn't we? Yeah. Like, I thought. Keep we more. more. Well, Boom. Yeah, I've got. I like that again because as he got headed, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not criticising. Sorry. I thought that broadhead shot was in. I was yeah. like, we're on our feet. <laughs> no. And just you know, we weren't such the lucky little Ipswich, You know that we had allegedly have been, <laughs> but. Like for second half, we didn't really get going. We got going in the end, but like, to be fair to Watford, they defended well second half. They're defenders, man. They're, what, man, mountains? They were oh. blocking everything, to be fair. And yeah. that Cabaselli, number 39, he was just mopping up everything. I wouldn't say like the lads were out of steam, run out of, you know, 
it's just one of them like you know sometimes your, your luck's not in allegedly but like, just at the end of the day four games to go cup finals it's still in our hands even though you know we've had two chances now where we should have maybe got a couple yeah. more points clear but no just on to Middlesbrough home Saturday now just I'm not frust- I'm frustrated opportunity missed yeah I'm not deflated because end of the day it's Start of the season, someone off me this scenario, it's not the bloody hand yeah. off. I mean, we're one head of Leeds. Leicester have got the game in hand against Southampton, but they both play before us. That's the, not the problem. They, like I say, Leicester have got uh, Plymouth away Friday night. Leeds have got Blackburn at home. Oh, do you know what? I think I said this last year. I think I prefer when the season was dead. You yeah. know, you just come here, there's no nerves. Just what do you think about it? When, when we were going into I'm this kidding. season, I'm we, um, we thought, you know, mid table. You know, flirt with the playoffs, and maybe yeah. they start. You know, in Guaranteed stage playoffs. of the season, um, we probably, you know, we'll just think, oh, we're just going to go into game, hoping, you know, for wins. But right now, we're I'm up. I'm going to address the ele- elephant in the room, though. If we do finish third, we all know who we're bloody playing. Mm. <laughs> we all know. No, no, they may go ahead of West Brom. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, if we manage to play them, lot at we- no, I'm oh, oh, we're going up top two. We're going up top two. Okay, up the town on the bar on Saturday. PG. Well, what a surprise. Up next, the second man to join me is Mike. Normally, we end the game day with you. Well, you're you want to end, end it with me? No, no, come in, come in. We're, you're here, ready. You end it with me or what? No, we've got, we got another two I'll gentlemen over there, there, I think. Yeah. Cut it here. Boom, game day done. Did he say it up the boer? Who? Peachy. Peachy. No, I don't think so. Just his accent. Do you know what? If we play like, I mean, we're playing, oh, no, God almighty. We look tired. You do. We look Goosed. really tired. Maybe this season is just... It's a long old season. It's it's too long, yeah. and our team are just knackered. It's, it's clock knackered. here. We got you. And, and I'm fearing the worst. I think we're going to Fratton Park next season. Uh, that's what I'm, that's the way I'm feeling at the moment. I think uh, if we carry on playing mind. like we like we have done, it's only we only turned up against Southampton. Yeah. Right. And that was such a high adrenaline game, and then we went flat. Still recovering from that. Flat, I don't know. Yeah. I, I I don't know what's going on. I think maybe. Wes Burns is a big miss. Yeah. And um, George, Hurst, George Hurst as well. It was a big miss when he when it, we, lo- we dropped a lot of points from, from when he went off. I don't know. I think Borough are going to come here and, and we're going to struggle. They're good away they're, from home. They are good. They're a good team and they're on, a ma- on the match yeah. at the moment. Um, I think they drew against Hull tonight, but they're still within the, you know, they'll be fighting for it because they beat us and the teams above lose. They're three points from the playoffs. So they're in touching distance, aren't they, really? So. I've, I've got a funny feeling they're going to come and win. Oh, because uh, just the way that we've been playing yeah. against Blackburn, against Norwich, and now tonight. I mean, so we brought fresh legs on, didn't we? Four, well, four it, changes. It, it, yeah. Did you see what happened when he did? Yeah. It was just like a breath of fresh air. We actually started going forwards with the ball and actually created chances. But then, clinical, well, then, it, then we looked like we were walking it into the net. Yeah. Where's all the shot shooting oh, and that? No. The amount of opportunities we had to shoot from outside the box. And we're not taking it. It's like we're trying to walk it into the net again, which stinks a bit of desperation. No, oh, God, Ross. Yeah. Fatten Park's not bad, you know. I like it. Because you, you know, that's where you sort of, you know, that's where you base, weren't you, in the Navy, yeah, yeah. Portsmouth. So you want to go back there, but hopefully not. Um, any other notes from the game? Yeah, you know, well, I, well, I was going to sing <laughs> Freddie Mercury song. I was going to sing the Great Pretenders. Oh. You know, pretending that we're doing well. Yeah, like Blackburn, that but was no. a struggle, weren't we it? Are, we, was we, we, we might be the great pretenders. We are, we are flirting with the big boys at the top, are. aren't we? Yeah, we, we call are. them big boys, but you know what I mean? They've got the money. They've got the money. We haven't. And they've got the, they've got the players that they've paid millions on, millions of pounds for. Oh, I don't know, Ross. It's it's it's, it's depressing. I wasn't this, I wasn't this bad at Norwich. At Norwich, <laughs> I accepted it because I thought, right, OK. Typical. Southampton took a lot out of us yeah. and... Our nerves, you know, it, it nerves got to the players, and they did turn up or whatever else. But tonight, it was just sloppy. Yeah, lots of slop. That Nathan Broadhead, I thought that was a goal when yeah. he hit the post. Yeah, yeah. I, I could have sworn there was a glitch in the matrix or something, <laughs> yeah. and the post just moved because yeah. it, it looked like yeah. it was going in. Oh, sweet, that was a sweet. Even cheered. I even got cheered. I was jumping around thinking yeah. we'd scored, and, and then I was looking up thinking, hang oh. on a minute, why, why is the ball not in there? Yeah. Just yeah, one of those days, my friends. Um, it's terrible. I, just, I hope we do, I hope we do turn up against uh, Middlesbrough, but not much. It's not much to recover though. You know, I think no, Thursday no, maybe not. they're gonna do a bit of recovery. Friday back into training. Do some new signings. 
Ah, oh, it's so Back annoying. in the day, they, they did Freshened that, didn't they? up a bit. It was like, there was like a, in March, there was like a, like a loan window. Obviously, they stopped, they scrapped that. Was there? Yeah, back in Maybe the day. Maybe we could loan someone, but he's got to come from like non-league. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you know? Yeah, well, see you Saturday, I'm sure. Thanks for joining me, Mike. Yeah, I'm here on Saturday, again, for my punishments. Cheer up, Mike. We're second in the league. It's another... All right, we've had these these doors keep opening. Yeah. And then we're it's closing them again. Yeah. They keep opening them. We're just not taking our chances. We're just and waiting to open that door for just Premier League. Not, we're, we're proving at the moment we're not capable of taking our chances, which is... The crowd, were, were up for it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then the nerves set in again and everyone went quiet. Yeah. And, I, and it's like, why are we not getting behind the boys? And, and it's like a library in here. Yeah, I think there's times. Everyone's just think... nervous. Yeah, I think it's just every, everyone. Like, oh yeah. my God. Because I knew that if we did score in that last oh. five minutes, the roof would have lifted off. Yeah, and we're typical of doing that as well. Because the relief would have been un oh. unbearable, unbelievable. I don't know, boss. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. On to the next one. I'm next one joined by Bloomers. Hopefully they cheer us up a little bit more, but um, I don't know if he'll be able to. Um, <laughs> back to back games without a goal, which is very rare on the Kieran McKenna. Uh, in, fact, in fact, it's so rare that I don't think that, it's ever happened. Do you want to do it again? Should we just start again? No, no, let's carry on. Oh, carry okay, on. fine. I think she was just about sure enough. She's in her own little world. Leave her a little own. bit of the head. A little bit of her own. Um, but yeah, Bloomers, carry on. Um, uh, I think that's the first time under Kieran McKenna we've gone two games without scoring. Um, someone can... Stat man, let us know. Yeah, or someone uh, better. Um, I'm joking. I'm joking. You're very good for Twitter. Um, I mean, just other, only that man. <laughs> it's um, a bit sobering, yeah. But look, we play so much better than Saturday for a start. That's the first thing I'd say. Yes. And then the second thing I'd say is it's still in our hands. You know, it's the old adage that if we go to the start of the season, someone says to you or me or um, either anyone behind me. Paul behind the camera? Yeah. If someone says to me, you've got to win four games, um, your last four games to get promoted, would you take it? Obviously you would. Like it's Paul, you can take it. He's yeah. nodding his head. He's nodding, yes. You or of course you would. Yeah. So it's it's a bit gutting, but at the end of the day, if these things are reversed, then it's at the start of the season we have this little blip in form and all of a sudden we win seven out of eight or whatever the run was before um, yeah. last Saturday. Everyone's going, oh my God, you know, look at us, we're gate crashing second. Everyone's really happy. It's, it's, it's funny how those kind of things work. And it's almost like a bit of a regression to the mean tonight where a 95th minute winner didn't go in or, you know, we didn't get a penalty in the 83rd minute or, you know, these things do happen. I'm not saying, like, we're lucky because that is just a tired trope. And other teams. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not saying that um, we're bad because we're not. No. It, it's just one of those ones where it, today it, it just, you know, you didn't get the 95th minute winner, you didn't get the, the, the little bit of magic at the end and, and, you know, it's been a very tough period and... I, I will lay blame at the team a lot for Saturday's performance. I won't lay a lot of blame on the team tonight because it's a, it's a you know, a, a tough one to go and win. Watford were very belligerent. You know, they didn't offer much going forward other than that near won the goal at the end, which had me crapping myself. Yeah. That's fair play, lad, to have yeah. for him to be able to you know, In the first half, we had a, got a, a shot that hit the, uh, the post and, and hit, came out the other side, and a very good save from the goalkeeper, it looked like, from my end. So, you know, one of those goes in, it's going to be a different game, and it probably ends up 3-2, because <laughs> most of our home games end up 3-2. So, yeah, it's, it's, put it this way, the only other nil-nil of the season at home was against QPR. This was a lot better performance than that QPR yes. game, if you can remember that far that back. Uh, yeah, that far warmer back as well. well. It was cold. That was very cold. Oh, was that in very cold right now. It's the start of April and I'm dressed yeah, like this. It's, 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 not a warm. Um, it's in our hands. There's four games to go. Can we win four games in a row? Of course we can. Ooh. And also that, you know, if we had to win four games in a row, that would mean that Leeds win every game between now and the end of the season for them. There's no guarantee that's going to happen after their last two games. It's so wide open. You're, you're a very brave man to call what's going to happen at the uh, end of the season now, if you're, even if you're a neutral. Um, so... You know, it, it's it's going to be tough, and the odds are we don't win four games in a row. But it's very, very possible that we do. And to be honest, you've you've seen how well we played the season. These boys deserve every single ounce of the backing between now and the end of the season. So if you're gonna if you're gonna tap out now, then then you've you've read eighty five percent of the book. And you're not going to read the ending. Mike, mm. I didn't hear what you had to say. <laughs> I didn't hear what you had Give to me say. Some big stairs, my, my my my. 
my thoughts on that is if, if you're doing that you've read 85% of the book and you're not going to read the ending or you've paid your money to go to the cinema and you've watched the 90% uh, percent of the film and then you, you've walked out before um, Darth Vader says that he's his father to Luke spoilers uh, it's 45 years <laughs> Luke uh, Luke <laughs> Ross it's 45 years old yeah true <laughs> you're about I mi- never you were about minus 30 when that came yeah, yeah, out true. so I think it's okay <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah like come on we, we've just got to keep going and, and the time for moping around in the in the Halberd or St Jude's or uh, Curve Bar or your bar of choice the time for moping around having a pint and thinking of what could have been will be in June it's not right now if you want to be mopey be mopey when England lose in the quarterfinals they probably will there's more of a chance that Ips you can get promoted this season right so if you're going to do that do that then keep the faith now I'm a, a very pessimistic person at heart I'm also a very realistic person I think someone said to me at work I was a realist I think that's a very good uh, phrase for me but I, I'm not I'm not going to give up on them now there's there's no way because it's a lot more boring being in League One in mid-table isn't yes. it so let's just let's just enjoy it while it lasts and if they fall short we've got a playoffs to, I'm saying so well I'm doing so hard not to swear here we've got, we got a playoffs to, to get through if uh, if we don't if we fall short so come on there's so many more twists and turns to go I'll be here Saturday Ross will be here Saturday Paul behind the camera will be here Saturday I don't know what Mike said, but I guarantee you'll be here Saturday. So let's get behind them. We're going to be okay. Things are going to be okay. And even if they're not, we've got two more games in the playoffs. And even if they're not, we get all sort of over again in the championship next season. Would you rather be in League One? Because I bloody wouldn't. No. Mic drop. And the final man joining me for this edition of Game Day is good old Matty Macon, my friend. Statement. No, statement. No, stale mate. That was not a statement result because that was a goalless draw. Yeah. Thoughts on that? Uh, Definitely not a statement. No. Um, it's, it's, it's a frustrating night. Um, obviously, results went our way last night. Could have um, opened up a little bit of a gap. But we've matched Leeds' result from last night. We've bettered Leicester's result mm-hmm. from last night. Um, so it's still in our hands. Um, I didn't think we were terrible. I thought Watford set up to frustrate um, and try and hit us on the counter. Um, I thought they particularly kind of got their act together second half. It's, I think we could have won the game. That last 15 to 20 minutes of the first half, we were really dominant. Broadhead crashes one off the post. I think if Moore has that header again, he probably goes across goal. It's, it's good save. It's not. Yeah. I don't think it's straight at the keeper. The keeper has managed to shift his momentum just to get a push, push it out. I thought that was going in. Um, but I think we sort of didn't get that goal for half time, and that, that gave cleverly an opportunity to to, organize, to, they? to get them, get them reorganized. Um, but I still thought we looked more threatening of the teams in the second half. Um, but back in the top two, yeah. um, what Bloomers were saying just now about it is impossible to call it. It is impossible to call it because we've got four games left. It's still in our hands. It's no coincidence. Somebody, um, I'll give um, my friend Gav credit. He sent me a message just now saying it's no coincidence that the teams all nearly on 90 points, all oh. three, all look knackered. Yes. And they all, we, we look knackered, Leeds look Goosed. knackered, Leicester look knackered. Yeah. So there's no guarantee that they're not going to drop more points um, in, in this last run in. Um, We've got that little break, we've haven't we? have got a nice little break. I, I know that means that. Um, Leeds and Leicester can maybe build build up some points there. On yeah. the other hand, we do need a break. We do look tired. Um, the games have been coming thick and fast. We obviously played Southampton Monday. We were up the road Saturday. We're here tonight. Um, we had oh, we going right, take it right back to Good Friday. We had Blackburn Ooh. as well. Yeah. Um, and we've looked leggy through all of those games in parts to different degrees. So I'm still confident. I've been confident since the turn of the new year and it's generally it's not let me down and it was certainly I, I didn't go on Saturday I was watching it was certainly a better performance on Saturday yes. which is all we can ask for really um, it's not ideal but it's not a disaster um, just need to really try and get something out Saturday yeah bounce back against Middlesbrough Mark Carrick take on Kieran McKenna part two uh, that was a good memorable uh, um, away trip in uh, Riverside in December uh, how you feeling for that mate as we wrap up another edition of game day yeah I mean I hadn't realised Middlesbrough kind of snuck back into the conversation mm-hmm. for that for that sixth spot. I mean, they're, they're probably the outsiders, really. Yeah. But they, they've def- they've still got something to play for. They're not on the beach yet. Um, it, you say the Riverside game. It was it was a bit of a chess match between McKenna and Carrick, and it took took that late winner um, from Sammy Morsey to, to decide it. So it's going to be it's going to be another tough one. But I'm 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 glass half full about it all at the moment. I'm confident, and I agree with what Blimps was saying earlier. Would I prefer this over mid-table in League One? Absolutely. Yes. You know, we're, we're guaranteed top four now, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, still in the shout for top two. I said 11th at the start of the season, so I am 
just trying to enjoy it while it lasts. Oh man, well, let's bring on the final four games then, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again for watching our game day, and uh, see you Saturday. Bye bye for now. Bye.